Hi. Welcome back to our channel Yuva Tech. Please don't forget to give your feedback after watching this video. We also request you to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to receive notifications. In this video, we will learn about how to test the diode. The working condition of a semiconductor diode can be tested using the three methods. First method is using diode checking function in a multimeter. Second method is using the ohm meter section in a multimeter. And, the third method is using a curve tracer. In this video we will discuss the two easiest methods using multimeter. Let us see the first method diode checking function that is available in multimeters. Please take the multimeter. In multimeter you can find the small diode symbol as shown in the figure. Now rotate the multimeter dial and set it in this position. As we know that, in practical diode, the cathode terminal will be identified using the silver ring. Now connect the red lead of the multimeter to anode terminal of the diode. Connect the black lead of the multimeter to cathode terminal of the diode. On multimeter side, connect the red banana jack to volt ohm side and, connect the black banana jack to com side. If the diode is in good working condition, now you may see that the display will show 0.67 volts for silicon based diodes. The multimeter has an internal constant current source about 2 milliamperes, that will define the voltage level. If you find the indication as O and L, then the diode is defected 1. That is the diode is not in working condition. If the leads are reversed, that is if you connect the red lead of the multimeter to, cathode terminal of the diode and, the black lead of the multimeter to, anode terminal of the diode, we will find the O and L indication. This is due to the expected open circuit equivalence for the diode. In general, a O and L indication in both directions of the diode connection is an indication of an open or defective diode. In multimeter the O and L stands for open loop which is representing the inadequate amount of continuity. In other measurements like voltage and current, it denotes the over limit. Let us see the second method of testing the working condition of the diode. Now set the multimeter dial in any low resistance position. We know that, the forward bias resistance of a semiconductor diode is quite low compared to the reverse bias level. Therefore, if we measure the resistance of a diode using the connections indicated in figure, we can expect a relatively low level. The resulting ohmmeter or multimeter indication will be a function of the current established through the diode by the internal battery, often 1.5 volts, of the ohmmeter circuit. The higher the current, the lower is the resistance level. For the reverse bias situation, the reading should be quite high, requiring a high resistance scale on the multimeter, that is you have to set the multimeter dial in high resistance position. A higher resistance reading in both directions indicates an open or defective device condition, whereas a very low resistance reading, in both directions will probably indicate a shorted device. Thank you for watching and subscribing our channel. Also we request you to share this video to your friends. Happy learning!